Hello. That's my friend Pablo. He's a practical guy, so I asked him to help me put together this new e-bike. It's a Himaway Cruiser. I saw my friend Ashley Neal riding one, and I thought I'd like to try that. So Himaway kindly sent me one. It came with a free hat and German instructions, but we got it assembled and ready for some Zen e-biking adventures. Let's do this. Oh, look at those fat tires. Watch out, squirrels. There's one. I'm coming for you. No, I love squirrels. All pedestrians are slowed down. I don't want to scare them with my fat tires. Whoosh. I'm testing it down all the hills. It's a good way to start off. I love the view here in Springfield Park. Nice and gently, of course. Testing the brakes. Just feeling the breeze in my beard. Oh, look at that scooter boy. Oh no, he bit the dust. Ah, he's okay. Can we get up this? Yes. Love the pedal assist. I'm heading over to the marshes. Skeet. Overtaking a scooter boy. Yes. He doesn't have the wheels for this gravel terrain. Vast open space, freedom, and yes, I'm wearing a helmet. You didn't think I was bombing down those hills without one, did you? I'm not a nutter. It's an ex Nito helmet with built in front and back lights. 10 miles per hour, 11, 12, 13, 12. The display shows my speed and how much battery life I have and distance traveled and it shows what level of pedal assist I'm getting. I've got it on 5 which is the highest. Okay, time to go and hunt for blackberries. This looks like a good spot. Loads of juicy ones here. You have to get right in there to get the best ones. A successful mission. Look at those. Oh. I need to watch my head here. Okay, time to hit the roads. Because of the law, the pedal assist stops at 15 and a half miles per hour, which is a shame, I think. 20 miles per hour would be nice so that I could keep up with traffic and less vehicles will be so anxious to overtake me. Some still would of course, but I know I wouldn't try and overtake a cyclist going 20 in a 20. As hard as I pedal, 
I can't get this bike beyond 15 miles per hour on a flat surface because it's quite a heavy bike. It's got seven gears, but I just tend to keep it on the highest gear. Oh, cycle route. Let's do it. Brakes are getting a bit squeaky. I need to look into that. It is a fun bike to ride. Very comfortable with the fat tires and suspension. I love bopping around on it, but I can't leave it anywhere because I don't have a big enough lock yet. And even then it'd probably get stolen. That's London. They don't make it easy for you. All I'm asking for are secure places to put my bike and let me go 20 miles per hour, please. Free the Ogmills. I'll be sensible, I promise. In the meantime, I'm willing to give it a go. I'm willing to try and see if we can make this work with or without society's help. Oh, car indicating left. I'll keep an eye on it. Is it waiting for me or just waiting to inconvenience me? Just oblivious probably, like so many road users. Look at these pedestrians, just wandering out. They're not scared of my fat tires. And this car in the cycle lane, where do people get the ghoul? A uh, lime bike nutter on the wrong side of the road. Oh, look at this jogger. Just jogging out in front of me. In his own world. He's a headphone zombie. No worries. You just got to keep an eye out for headphone zombies and smartphone zombies and zombies in general. Nothing illegal here police, I'm fully restricted. You just carry on chatting while zombies run loose. Oh, a protest. What's it all about? For me? Thank you. Let's have a look. Yes, 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 I agree with all of this. West Green Road. Ah, oh, look, I'm getting overtaken by a normal bike. It's not fair. I love these little lights, these little bicycle lights. Hey, where's this guy going? It's a Brompton nutter with no patience. Here we go. It's our time to shine on this cycle super highway. I love it. The weather's turned against me. How will this bike do in a deluge? It's doing well. But I'm not doing so well. I need a much better rainproof jacket. I'm soaked to the bone. I'm actually enjoying the conditions. The bracing seven sisters rain on my face. It's quite invigorating. I love being able to cruise around without having to put too much energy in. But I have a special challenge for this bike. A true test of his grit and determination. And that is Muswell Hill. One of the hilliest hills in London with an unforgiving gradient. How fast can we get to the top? Will we make it at all? Let's find out. Okay, good start. Hurry up car. Oh look, your petrol cap's open. I could probably close it for them. 
No, focus on the task in hand. You are battling a monster. Steady 15, that's good. That's very good. Oh, it's getting a little tougher. Let's try changing gears. No, that's not helped. Okay, we're losing speed. Down to 14, 13, 12. Come on. The gradient's killing us. I'll add more muscle power to assist the pedal assist. Teamwork. Okay, we're going a steady 12 miles per hour. But it doesn't get easier from here. The opposite, in fact. It just gets steeper. I'm glad there's no bus behind me. Otherwise I'd feel compelled to pull over and let them pass. Oh, I'm having to dig deep now. Down to 10 miles per hour. And I'm giving it everything I've got. This isn't what I signed up for. This is like proper cycling. Well, no, it's better than having to push it up the hill. See ya, mate. Right, focus now. Last big effort. That's it, back to 11. Power through. Just you and the pedal assist versus the hill. I can see the top. Come on, Ogmios. This is the toughest bit now. The business end. Finish the job. Slay the beast. Don't back down. Yes. Made it. That was a workout. I was down to 9 miles per hour at the end there. I think the law again is holding me back. Not just with the speed limiter, but the size of the motor is again restricted by law. If I had this bike in a different country, I would probably have the power to get up the hill quicker. But it's the government. They want me going up Muswell Hill at 9 miles per hour. But they don't care what speed I do on the way down. Let's go! Oh no. Pedestrian. I was gonna bomb it down Muswell Hill. And I still am. Come on. 20. 26. Thirty, I'm flying. Truly bombing down the hill. And this is with me lightly touching the brakes. I could be going even faster. But I'm keeping it safe. But still, nobody else try this. This is just for my important research. And of course I'll have to repeat it a few times. For scientific rigor. We. I feel alive. Okay. Let's power up into Ali Pali. I looked over London and reflected on my e-bike experience. I love it and I hope there's space for a fat tyre zen rider on the chaotic streets of London. The fat tyre zen rider forges a dignified path through the lunatic crowds. All I ask is to be able to park securely in more places and to get assistance up to 20 miles per hour and to be able to get up hills even easier. If these demands are met, I could certainly replace a lot of car trips with this bike. But until then, it's still good for little adventures here and there. Where should I go? Let me know your thoughts. And let me know if you want to see a special episode of just me going up and down Maswell Hill. 
I will get my brakes serviced before that though. Safety first. Bye bye. Take care everybody.